Hello everyone, welcome to the ESP32 Beginner Masterclass. My name is Amin and uh, I'll be your instructor throughout this entire course on the ESP32. Alright guys, so if you've ever dreamed of making your own smart devices, uh, you know, like home automation systems, robots, smart sensors, or even um, your own mini weather station, then you are absolutely in the right place. Over the next few weeks, we're going to like dive deep into everything you need to start building amazing projects with the ESP32. Starting from just blinking an LED to actually building full Wi-Fi connected smart gadgets. Pretty exciting, right? All right, so let's start with uh, what is an ESP32 anyway? Well, basically ESP32 is this super powerful microcontroller developed by Espressive Systems. Think of it. Um, like the brain behind your electronic projects, you know, the thing making all the decisions. Here's why it's so awesome. First, it has built in Wi Fi and Bluetooth, so like wireless stuff is already handled. It runs at 240 megahertz, which is uh, crazy fast compared to something like an Arduino Uno. It's packed with tons of GPIO pins ADC, DAC, PWM, I2C, SPI, UART, and even a capacitive touch sensors uh, plus you can connect like all sorts of things sensors motors displays even cameras so whether you want to build a smart home device a robot a wireless sensor network or just a cool diy iot project the esp32 can totally handle it no sweat now you might be thinking hey i've heard of arduino or uh, maybe even the esp8266 let's quickly compare them okay Arduino Uno, it's great for simple projects, right? But no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth out of the box, which can be kind of limiting. ESP8266, it's super cheap and does support Wi-Fi, but uh, it has fewer GPIO pins and like a slower CPU compared to the ESP32. ESP32, uh, well, this guy is like the best of both worlds. Faster processor, more pins, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and a whole bunch of extras. So in short, if you're starting today, ESP32 is uh, definitely the way to go. It's modern, affordable, and well, super capable. All right, so what exactly are we going to learn together in this course? Hmm, let's see. We'll set up your ESP32 development environment, like getting all the software ready. Uh, then we'll start simple. Uh, blinking LEDs, reading buttons, working with sensors, and driving displays. Next up, we'll get into controlling motors, relays, RGB LEDs, uh, you know, the fun stuff. After that, we'll build Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected devices, actually connecting them to the internet and um, talking to each other. We'll even host our own web servers and send sensor data up to the cloud. And finally, uh, we'll put it all together and make full mini projects. Things like smart home switches, data loggers, and even camera-based projects. By the end of this series, you'll like be super confident to go out there and build your own real-world projects using ESP32. Sounds good, right? Now here's what you'll need to follow along with this course. And don't worry, it's super simple. An ESP32 development board, uh, like the Dev Kit V1. Uh, that's a popular one. A micro USB cable obviously to connect it, a laptop or a computer with internet access because, you know, we'll need to install stuff. Arduino IDE installed, no? and I mean, don't stress about this part. I'll walk you through it step by step in the next video. Oh, and optionally, some basic electronics are things like LEDs, resistors, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. That's it. Super basic, and you're good to go. All right, that's a, a quick overview of what we're diving into. In the next video, I'll show you exactly how to set up your computer and your ESP32 board. And we'll like run our very first program together, the famous Blink project. If you're excited, and I hope you are, smash that like button, subscribe so you don't miss the next episodes. And well, let's start this amazing journey together. See you in the next video.